of a sensational performer with an impeccable record. Those picking Vargas are going with a gut feeling about his toughness, a young man with the look of a champion. Your head or your gut, which one is right? Trinidad can only go to the well so many times. Getting knocked down early is just, you can't just get up all the time. He better protect himself. Six different times in his career, Trinidad has been down in the early rounds. All six times, he got up to win. Vargas lands a left jab against an off-balance Trinidad to start off the action. The That's younger what you fighter want. stepping out to jab. Go ahead, George. That's what you want to do. You got to show Trinidad, first of all, I'm not afraid of you. Then you got to back it up, though. Big left hook by Trinidad, and Vargas is stunned. Vargas is stunned and down. And you know how stunned he is? Because he didn't take the full count. He got up too quickly. That's Sen what I said. the left hook. Trinidad can't go to the wheel. He's not playing around now. Second knockdown for Trinidad. He's the one who said it would be a quick, dominant knockout performance. This is not what any expert come, come expected. But this is what Felix said he'd do. No three knockdown rule in effect. Marcus attempts to grab and hold, then backs away again. Manages to duck a couple of punches, seemingly getting his legs back under him now. He was not prepared early for the quickness of Vargas's hands. Oh, Trinidad's hands. Sorry, Trinidad's hands. Vargas is starting to stand and fight flat-footed. That's not what I expected of him. All the talk about how Trinidad goes down early, and suddenly Vargas is down twice in the first minute and a half of the fight. So now the younger fighter trying to regain his senses and get out of the first round. He's showing real composure and poise in a, in a crisis situation here, George. This is the first one he's been in, and you didn't want it to be the first time he'd run into some adversity. Marcus kind of puts his Trinidad away with the left of the body. Trinidad looking and looking, trying to find an opportunity to land one more big left hook. Trinidad, normally the best finisher, finisher in this weight class. He didn't finish Vargas off, and I don't know why. Well, he's usually fitting off, finishing off a fighter whom he's punished to the body for seven or eight rounds. This is an unusual situation. Now he got hurt by a right hand. Vargas chopped him on the side of the head with a good right hand. Trinidad looking very sharp with his punches in the first round. Vargas just missing with another straight right cross, and now Fernando definitely has his legs back. He better use those legs. You don't want to stand in front of a puncher like that. He's going to make it out of round one. But what a perilous round one it was for the young star from Oxnard, Felix Trinidad, with an early two knockdown statement. And Vargas goes to a neutral corner, not to his own corner, after that round. It's but a wonder that, he can go anywhere. That was some gutty performance by Vargas. Larry, a look at the knockdowns. Stunned early in the fight. He has never been down as a professional prize fighter. Never been in the ring with somebody as deadly and quick as Tito Trinidad. And Trinidad did everything he could to finish it right then and there. Give Vargas credit for showing some stability and maturity in a situation he had never experienced before. 
Big left hooks doing the damage for Trinidad in round one. Vargas came back and managed to land 14 punches in the round despite being down twice. And now Vargas tries to rake Trinidad with a right hand. George pointed out that a chopping right by Vargas in the last minute of round one caught Trinidad flush on the cheek. Trinidad Nance uses some good experience. He was able to slip the left by Vargas and come up with a left hook that lands the first knockdown. That's experience. That's bobbing. That's weaving. Trinidad looking quicker, stronger, and better balanced than ever in the first two rounds of a fight. This is the first time I've seen him show some aggression early on like this. Well, they told us for years that he's having so much trouble making 147 pounds that it damaged him going into fights. At 154, he has indeed looked more comfortable on his feet. Vargas is not backing up like you would expect him to do at this point. He stands in the middle of the ring, tries to get an aim, and then back away. Well, that he's was one of the big questions that hung over the fight. Would Vargas trade with Trinidad? And almost everybody felt that would be a mistake that the young fighter probably wouldn't make. He has Trinidad going in a circle away from him. Right hand lands for Trinidad. Trinidad is mixing it up. Uses the jab down to the stomach, then back to the head. He's actually boxing Vargas. Vargas with a left to the body. Left hook to the body is a major weapon for both fighters. And if the fight goes some rounds, you wonder who will get that weapon going with regularity. It's going to take a couple of rounds if it goes that for Vargas to get his balance back. Another left he hand land flush for Trinidad, and Vargas is stunned again. Vargas having trouble handling Trinidad's power. But he now, naturally gets out of the way of those punches. How he does it, you don't know. Right hand lands for Trinidad. Vargas pops back with a left. But Vargas still looks unsteady whenever Trinidad lands upstairs. Trinidad's got power, and you don't want to be in exchange with a guy with that kind of power. And that's what Vargas is doing, making the mistake of punching with a very good puncher. Yeah, but George, he's having no success standing outside because of the quickness of Trinidad, so he has to try to get inside his range a little no, bit. No, no, no. He needs to stay away for a couple of rounds and get his legs back under him. That's what he should be doing. There was a brutal body shot by Trinidad that set up this assault, but Vargas is able to duck and slip and avoid most of the punches. The good thing about this marathon runner is that he's sprinting too early. Trinidad. Big right hand by Vargas. Catches Trinidad's attention. Felix comes straight forward. Now Vargas spins Trinidad after a left hook missed. And this is one of the first times you've seen Trinidad try to sprint early like this. Trinidad holding on to Vargas' right arm as Vargas whacked away with the left. Best rally in the fight for Fernando to punctuate round two. And the young Mexican-American fighter flashes a smile as he goes back to his corner. It's our fight. Everything is fine. Tranquilo, it's easy. Just take it easy. We gotta be calm. The fight is ours. The fight is in our favor. You don't have to do too much. Tito, Tito, cuando él se, cuando, cuando él se va, busca la forma de open. Here's another look, Larry, at the jab by Trinidad that yeah. seemed to wobble Vargas. Well, he called him a baby, and so far he's. Uh, than everything except diaper and powder him. But late in the round, the baby started to yowl. There's a little blood on the side of Trinidad's, the right side of Trinidad's eye. So that baby can scratch. We're off to some start. It could have been a first round knockout, but now Vargas has a chance to write a fascinating script. Trinidad stands on the the ball of his right foot like a track star ready to take off a track runner on your mark get set you don't want to be in front of a guy like that he's in position to, re to reel a right hand off on you you want to get him back on his heel so he's off balance Vargas stops the Trinidad left with a left of his own Trinidad with a long right hand that wobbles Vargas back again like I said, you can't stand in the front of a guy when he's standing on the ball of his right foot like that. He's ready to take off on you and go. Some of us really expected Vargas to be at angles and not right in front of Trinidad like this. It looks as though after having gone down twice in the first round, 
Vargas is anxious to step back and make a statement of his own. He yeah, may have been gulled into fighting the once wrong Once a guy fight. knocks you down like that, you just got to get up and fight him. Otherwise, you're going to be running all night. And that's what Vargas, he's taking the chance, but he's doing as much. He's got Trinidad boxing. And there's a big left hook upstairs by Vargas, which momentarily halts Trinidad. But Felix is relentless. He keeps coming and keeps firing hard with both hands. As I said earlier with Vargas, he's naturally off balance for uh, Trinidad. You have him in, oh, he jabs to the body, which is good for Trinidad. Can set up some of the later stuff upstairs. And Vargas is going to have to throw that right hand before he hooks Trinidad because you don't want to be hooking with a good left hooker like that. Now Vargas lands a jab and a straight right hand. Misses with a right hand there. Vargas beginning to put punches together in combination. But Fernando is not yet elusive. He's in front of Trinidad, and he's been taking too many punches. Oh, right good right hand by Vargas. Right on the chin. Perfect shot. But he's standing still again with a guy on the ball of his right foot. And he takes a left hand as a result of it. You don't want to throw, you want to throw your right hand oh, because you throw your left hand. with Trinidad's right eye. And now Vargas sees a chance and bangs away with the left while Trinidad holds on to his right. What if, what if Hard right hand by Trinidad. Into the right eye of Trinidad. Apparently he's clear now. Two more chopping right hands by Trinidad landed there. Not having the same effect on Vargas though that they did in the first round. The young fighter seems to have gotten his feet under him. He takes a low blow and referee Jay Nady is going to give him a chance to recover. And if I'm Fernando Vargas, I would use all five minutes. There you go. Vargas has done a good job. If you want to tell a young man for five minutes or hire a young man in your office, this is the way you want to tell them a young, young people can do. They can take care of a job. Now, Trinidad's had so much momentum in these first three rounds. Vargas has a chance now to at least interrupt that momentum. Here's a look at the low oh, blow. Oh, that's right there on the kind of the side of the hip. That hurts. That was a serious low blow and a real mistake in terms of the tide of the fight, in terms of giving an opponent who was dazed earlier a chance to fully recover. Over across the ring, Vargas's promoters, Kathy Duva and Gary Shaw of main events, are standing up and holding up five fingers apiece. They're saying to Fernando, use all five minutes. Can you imagine a woman now? Given instructions. Hey, Kathy knows the sport as well as anybody. She holds up five fingers again. Trinidad's looking over at his dad. Kathy Duva, standing across the ring, keeps motioning Vargas back into the corner. Now Fernando wants to come out and fight. I really think it was Fernando uh, Vargas who had the momentum going before the stop. Third round comes to a close. And trash talk from Vargas to Trinidad. There is Olivia Chavez mother of Fernando Vargas and right now a nervous woman immediately following coverage of boxing after dark on February 9 stay tuned for the premiere of countdown to Pavlik Taylor 2 our documentary style look into both camps as each fighter prepares for the February 16 rematch live on HBO pay-per-view be, be lively be alert and do some boxing Uppers. He, he's only throwing you one punches. You, you got a proper move. Larry Merchant. Well, in the corner, Tito got a slap in the face from his father. But you could see there that jab got into the eye, but Trinidad appears to be all right. And Vargas appears to be working himself into the fight. And George Foreman, CompuBox numbers agree with you that Vargas had the momentum before the interruption. He landed 23 punches out of 57 to 19 out of 29 for Trinidad in round number three. Harold, how'd you score the first three rounds? Okay, Jim, 29-26, two rounds to one, Tito Trinidad. You gotta give him two extra points. And down goes Tito on a big left hook. Well, Harold, whatever the score of the fight was before, it just changed. Here comes Trinidad to try to follow up. I mean, check it, Vargas to try to follow up. 
Well, Vargas has said that if he got Trinidad in trouble, he wasn't going to let him off the hook. He got another low blow. Second foul of the fight for Trinidad, and we'll see if Nady will take a point away. A point deduction could be critical, and it is. And right now, Jim, it's a three-point round for Vargas, which equalizes the three-point round like that Trinidad got in the first round. Oh, you got all you want. Did somebody say it was going to be a great fight? <laughs> well, I don't think you can order great fights from a catalog, but this one we may have. Let's take a look at the low blow. George, tell me how much this hurts the fighter. No, he's been hit low already, so it's already tender around the body. It's going to hurt him a lot, and it's going to affect his stomach also. So he's going to be in trouble for the rest of Will the fight. Will it limit performance the it's rest of the fight? It's going to limit a lot of movements now because it's hurt. He's planted the punches. Should he, re should he retaliate, George? No, no, not at all. You don't want to do that. If you believe you can win, stay fair. All right, this time, Fernando Vargas is not getting the five-minute call from... Gary Shaw and Kathy Duva across the ring because they're cognizant of the fact that Fernando was on the upswing and had knocked Trinidad down prior to this low blow interruption. Well, what do we have? Uh, three and a half rounds. We've had three knockdowns. Two, major, two major fouls. <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, they can fight 25 rounds. Vargas got to be careful with the swelling. Trinidad Corner has always done a good uh, good job of keeping his swelling down. All right, Fernando's ready to fight again. So here they come. Round four continues. Big left to the body by Trinidad. Vargas, Vargas was reaching for an uppercut. Vargas Corner told him to go with the uppercut, but you just can't bring it all the way up. You got to bring it to him. That's the uppercut. You can't force the uppercut. You got to make the to opponent him. come to you. I still think that... Trinidad is having a little trouble with his right eye. I think it's a little swollen. I think you're right on the money there, Larry. And he's I think Trinidad benefited from the delay for the low blow. He's got to jab and make Trinidad bend down and then throw the uppercut. You got to make him go down. Don't just throw the uppercut while he's in the heights. The punch, which has done damage for both fighters, is the left hook. Trinidad knocked Vargas down on two big left hooks in the first round. Vargas retaliated here with a left hook of his own. There's a straight right hand for Fernando. Felix backing straight up. Takes another left hook. Vargas should stay on Trinidad's right side. Stay on that right side. Uh, Trinidad is doing good with his uh, left hook, but the right hand is hesitant because he needs to keep it up to protect his eye. So Vargas does well if he stays right on Trinidad's right side. It appears to me, George, that Vargas has been able to now measure the quickness of Trinidad's hands. He's not getting hit with the kind of clean punches he was early in the fight. No, he's ducking and slipping and finding opportunities. This looks a little bit more like what he was able to do against Quarte. Well, he's made Trinidad now to stop and think for a second. And when you do that, that's what you want a puncher to do is be on the alert. Try to outbox me rather than outpunch me. And that's what Trinidad is trying to do, outbox the champ now. No longer does Vargas wobble every time Trinidad hits him upstairs. Fernando has gotten himself back into the fight through four rounds. Take a deep breath. Everything's all right. Your eyes okay. Don't worry about your eye. Everything's okay. Okay. Tito, we got a fight. And inside his guard, Tito. Are you listening to me? You keep your hands up. And then make sure you, you put your left hand in front. Keep your hands up. Here's the knockdown, Larry. Here's the left hand that knocked Tito down. And from what I've seen in the corner, they're telling Tito that his eye looks okay. But it doesn't look okay. It looks bloodshot. He's been there before. That's the most amazing thing about Trinidad. 
All of this has happened to him before. Now both of them have had to come back from adversity. Story of two fights so far. First two rounds by CompuBox numbers. Trinidad landed 37 punches, but only 19 for Vargas. Last two rounds, Vargas lands 47, but only 28 for Trinidad. In round four, Vargas with a 15 to four edge in power shots. So coming into the fifth round, the younger fighter has for the moment taken over the action. And now Vargas is starting to use his legs a little bit. He, he hits and then steps to the side. Ducking and slipping, staying at angles, fighting the way he was supposed to fight. And he's doing it naturally. These are things you just can't teach a guy when he get hurt. It has to be there inside. What a test of Vargas's fortitude in the first round when he was totally stunned by the two vicious left hooks that Trinidad put him on the canvas with. What a comeback by Vargas in rounds three and four. Now Trinidad is spreading his right leg a little far out there. It's not on the mark as much as it was earlier. That's what you want him to do, spread that leg. What Good left hook by Vargas. What do you mean by on the mark, George? Well, he stands just like the track, uh, track run on your mark, you know, on the heel ball of your right foot. He can get off the right hand, but when he spreads it and put it flat, you can get him because he's not ready to punch you back. He's back on the right foot now. It's, it's up again now. Left hook to the body by Vargas, close to the belt line. At this time, Trinidad should be es establishing his left jab a little bit more. He has the better in the reach. Throw that jab. Don't be afraid to jab. But he came out with the jab in the first round, and that's what set up the power punching display. Yeah, and he's starting to abandon his left jab, which he shouldn't have done. Since then, he's been slugging, and Vargas has been able to adjust. And Vargas has, has established his body punching now. Once you establish that you can hit a, a man with a body punch, you're good. You know, and now Vargas starts to get his jab going. And, and he, double left hook. And he seems to be in control now of the situation right here in the fifth round. Vargas seems remarkably calm for somebody who's been through what he's already been through in the fight. Once again, Trinidad is flat foot on that right foot, and then Vargas should take advantage of it and attack. These are the things that your corner has to look at. And there's the uppercut that Eduardo Garcia was asking Vargas to throw. Vargas popping his jab whenever Trinidad steps into range, interrupting Trinidad's assault. Trinidad missing with the jab too far away. Then Vargas stops. After he backs up a moment, he stops. That throws Trinidad off because he knows then he may get hit. Two more quick lefts by Vargas. Trinidad still can't find him. Vargas much more effective at range right now. This is a dominant round for young Vargas. A one-sided stanza in favor of the Mexican-American star. We got him little by little. We got him. He's, you heard him. You heard him. He's hurt. Keep going the same way. Real lively, real smart. You got to be smart. You step around. He can't set up and hit you. Give me some water. Let's give him some water. Are you all right, Tito? Tito, you gotta listen to instructions. What's... Go inside, but do it with the jab. Do your fight. Make your fight. The people who are picking Vargas with some gut feeling because of his toughness and his maturity as a young fighter have seen him be tough and mature both so far. And now for the first time on our Harold Letterman scorecard, Vargas moves ahead in the fight. This after having been down twice in the first round and having twice been treated to interruptions because of low blows by Trinidad. But the unpenalized foul that may mean something in the fight would be a thumb if Vargas did in fact cause that swelling to Trinidad's right eye with a thumb in the third round. Well, I don't know if it was a thumb because there are no thumbs on these gloves, Jim, but it was a glove, the edge of the glove, perhaps. Good point. Thumbless. You can't stick the thumbs out like you used to. So that means many fewer thumb fouls, but it's still fewer. Fewer, fewer. It can you're right. Happen, you're right. right. You're right. Both of us are right. <laughs> hey! 
And George, Fernandez. I think I said Mexican American, and I know for sure that's what Fernando would prefer. No, well, let him say it. We can't do it. Okay. He's an American. Thanks. He certainly fought on the American Olympic team. There Stars and stripes all the way. And he was born and raised in Oxnard, California. There you are. Trinidad is dangerous in every inch of this fight. You just can't stand in front of him and not do anything. He will fight you till the end. And Vargas had better be aware that you've never got this fight under control. Trinidad still possesses power, and he has it in the latter round. And he's trying to make the fight. He's still putting the pressure on. He is the aggressor. Now, Vargas is looking for one shot here, one at a time. And that's a problem. You don't want to get in that kind of slugging match with this fighter like Trinidad. Throw your combination, step to the side. And Trinidad, almost as though he heard you in the last round, begins to go back to his jab, George, and begins to set up the offense again with the jab, just as he did at the very beginning. A swelling now outside that right eye. Vargas is looking to work on that eye, and he should be working on the fight. Don't Good little left hook inside by Fernando. You don't want to work on a man's eye. You want to work on the fight. Vargas tried to hold, Trinidad pulled away, and cracked him with the right hand. And he's done a good job of clinching. Young fighters don't like to clinch. Vargas is doing it. It almost looked as if a, a big right hand by Trinidad hit Vargas in the neck and destabilized him momentarily. And two more left hooks by Trinidad landed there and backed Vargas into the corner. Trinidad making a comeback now in round six after having been thoroughly dominated in three, four, and five. And Vargas, who was moving away early in the round, elects to trade with Trinidad and gets the better of him for the moment. What a round. Woo. <laughs> February 23 is a special night on HBO. East Coast viewers will see the premiere of Joe Lewis, America's Hero, Betrayed, a documentary about the tragic life and death of the former heavyweight champion. It airs at 8 p.m. Followed at 9.30 p.m. by the live heavyweight unification fight between Vladimir Klitschko and Sultan Ibragimov. On the West Coast, Klitschko versus Ibragimov airs live at 6.30 p.m., followed by Joe Lewis, America's Hero, Betrayed. Don't forget the jab is first, and then the left hook, and then the uppercut. That's a combination. The, the hook to the body is your main weapon. When, when you put pressure on him, put a lot of pressure on him and throw a fast punches. Move, move to the other side where, where his jab is. You got to put pressure, but quick, fast pressure. Can you believe we're already halfway through the fight? Round six, CompuBox numbers, Trinidad 27 out of 52, Vargas 25 out of 59, more fireworks to begin the seventh. Quickly, Harold, how do you have it through six? Okay, Jim, amazing. 55-55, three rounds apiece, Tito Trinidad definitely caught up in round six. I have the same score. Now Vargas got to understand that these ladder rounds belong to Trinidad. You've got to box him. Another low blow. And this could be another point deduction for Trinidad. It would be very dispiriting if this great, great fight were to end on a disqualification. But Trinidad flirts with it now. The referee asks, are you all right? No way are you all right with that kind of punching power down below the belt. You're not okay. And another point deduction against Trinidad. So that's two points deducted. If form follows, it's Trinidad time. is flirting with disqualification. Yeah, I was wondering if something happened. Jay Nady came over to talk to Trinidad. Trinidad may have said something inflammatory to him because it didn't look at that moment that Nady was going to deduct a point. But he got, he, he sort of got flushed and angry. That, that well, referee. I'm not certain if he can even speak Spanish, Larry. And Trinidad only speaks Spanish. And there's the punch, which was right along the belt line. But the way Vargas reacted, he certainly felt it was a low blow. Yeah, Here's tender another look. There. It's tender down there anyway. Now they're back to fighting in the ring. Vargas has taken shorter and shorter breaks on the three interruptions for low blows. Trinidad is starting to cut off the round, cut off the ring. These are the Trinidad rounds. 
Vargas had better box out of him for two rounds. If he can only just box for a couple of rounds, just box. You look at the three low blows so far, and you remember that David Reed offered this piece of advice to Vargas. He said Trinidad will do anything to win the fight. And Vargas, he's got to box, keep his back away from the ropes, and box. If he takes this fight to the center of the ring, he can do it easily, but stay away from the rope. Trinidad has been in these positions before, knows how to pull it out in the last round. The relentlessness of Felix Trinidad. Coming and coming, firing with both hands. Power shot, power shot, power shot. Try to stay away from me. I'm coming forward. That's Felix Trinidad. He chops with that right hand as though it's a hammer. Doesn't just throw it out there as a straight right hand. He throws it out there and then chops with it. Trinidad's got the best right hand on the scene now. Vargas better keep boxing and keep something in front of Trinidad. Don't let him just follow you around. Jab him. Jab him. He's caught the rhythm, the rhythm of uh, Trinidad now. He's going to expect him to bob and weave and throw something back himself now, Vargas. Looking for a left hook. A little short with the you are. Now he lands one All in the night he's been waiting for that rhythm shot, but you just can't take the power that Trinidad has and then wait to get a shot. You've got to get out first. Trinidad reaching just a little with the jab. Vargas steps in, overshoots with a right hand. Trinidad with a left to the body. Those body punches pile up over the course of the fight for Felix. No, 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 no. Come out. Close his eyes. This is when you start to respect your opponent. Water you got to throw two or three punches this round, and then the next one, two or three punches, and put pressure. you got to throw a combination of two or three. Your jab first, but you got to throw three punches at least. We're going to win with the uppercut and the hook. And when you get in, make sure your hands are up. You always come in with the jab. Always work a jab in the front. Are you okay? Don't let him get a breather. Don't give him a second chance. You heard the instructions from Trinidad's corner. Stay on top of him. In round seven, Trinidad had the CompuBox numerical advantage, but of course he had a point deducted for a low blow. Harold, how do you have it now? Okay, Jim, three, three, one even, because round seven becomes an, e an even round when Felix Trinidad won the round but lost the point on a low blow. I got a comment, Jim. I think the fight's being over-officiated. I would hate like heck to see a fight won or lost because of nonsense point deductions. You don't take a guy to a corner, talk to him for five minutes, and deduct the point. That's a joke. If you're going to deduct the point, you do it immediately when he gets when he throws the low blow, and it's all there is to it. A letterman memo to Jay Nady, which I'm sure Nady will be reading in the next few days. The Trinidad is back on the ball of his right foot again, and, and uh, Barger stands right in front of him. Once you see him get that foot planted, you got to get away. It appears now that Trinidad has moved back into some semblance of flow and control. And he's getting closer to Fernando, trying to press the issue and make his punching power the big advantage again. And sometimes you got to be careful telling your fighter to go, keep going, keep pressing the guy, especially a boxer who knows how to punch backwards, going backwards. Which Vargas does. Vargas knows how to set himself on the move. He has this look of a child on his face, but let me tell you, there's some mean stuff there. Oh, this is a man's fight. It was promised as a macho battle, and it's been a good luck to the body by Vargas. 
A left hook to the body that made Trinidad stop for a second. He knows it hurt him, too. There it is again. Vargas was on the belt line with that one. Trinidad comes back with a right, right on the chin. That left hook is good for Vargas. If he gets and invests some more in there, he can make things happen. Trinidad trying to take a deep breath because that right side hurt from that left hook. And there's another one by Vargas. And this time he doubles the left hook upstairs. And Nady steps in and pulls him away just as Vargas was doing damage. There's a warning to Vargas now for low blows. Well, let me tell you, I didn't see anything low. Yeah, there was a little bit of a low blow. He sensed, as you said, George, that for the moment, Trinidad was hurting the body and he went after it. He hit him again in the same spot, right above the, the, the trunk line there. Body punching, turning the tide again in favor of Fernando Vargas. Here in round number eight. Trinidad is protecting his right side now, I'm telling you. Folks, this that is, is That's low. That was low. This Ten is... seconds left in the round now. They come down the stretch of the round, and Vargas momentarily hurt. Because he stops and thinks for a second, and whenever he stops, Trinidad takes advantage of it. Lose concentration. Don't pull my head back. This is world-class stuff, folks. On the way, on the bonarito. The nose is not bleeding. On the bonarito. You got to deep in deep breath. That's what you need. One more deep breath. Raise your hand. We're fine. We're going fine. The fight is, the fight is done, but he's feeling your punches. We are okay now. How do you feel, Tito? Feel fine. You gotta throw more than one punch. Make it two and bob and weave. You gotta use you gotta use your intelligence and be swift. You gotta be quick. Round eight was one of the most even rounds of the foul of the bout by CompuBox numbers. Vargas 27 of 58. Trinidad 24 of 47. Trinidad with an 18-14 edge in power shots. It could be a round on which the scorecards could turn because that round could have gone to either guy. Vargas, whenever he stands still for a moment and look at Trinidad too much, Trinidad picks up that right foot and he comes right down the middle with that right hand. Big left hook by Vargas as Trinidad leaned in. Fernando thinks he's found something with the body punching. He's trying to set it up again. His corner told him to bob and weave a little bit. Trinidad is a little tall. He can't bend in the waist as easy as Vargas. Uppercut attempt by Vargas. Left hook landed on the chest. Trinidad missing with two rights. Manages to catch a piece of Vargas with the left. Trinidad now should reestablish his jab. Get back to the left jab. Trinidad should be the message from the corner. He's got a big jab. When Vargas hit him with a jab, nothing happened. But when Trinidad lands one jab, Vargas' head goes all the way back. Nady tells Trinidad not to pull Vargas' head down. They've done a wonderful job in Felix Trinidad's corner, keeping that right eye open. The, his corner has always done well with the swelling. He hasn't blown his nose as like he did in the Delahaya fight. Vargas is getting really brave now throwing uppercuts. You want to make sure you throw uppercuts you're in the middle of the ring. A right hand from distance momentarily wobbles Vargas. Another combination by Trinidad. Vargas grabs and holds. Another big right hand by Trinidad. Vargas in trouble. He stands and fires with the left. Championship rounds traditionally have belonged to Felix Trinidad. He's hammering Vargas here. Oh, that left hook to the body by Trinidad. Another left to the body by Vargas. And that backs Trinidad up momentarily. That's what you want, Trinidad. You want to back him away. Make another him left back to up. the body by Make Vargas. him back up. And another left to the body by Vargas. He stops Trinidad's momentum by raking Trinidad to the ribs. Right here, right here. It's toughness of Vargas against the skill and punching power. He want to mix it up, Vargas does. Trinidad. He's smiling. He's like, I'm going to keep it up. 
This is the strength of both fighters going at each other. This was Vargas's promise. I'm not going to back away. I'm not the kind of fighter who'll run. I'll stand with him. I'll trade with him. I'll stick with him all the way. That's what Vargas does as he comes down the stretch in round nine. Boy, it's getting rough for Vargas. and applauding both fighters. When you step in, you heard it. When you step back and bend over, he fires the right. Do not move to the right. Do not bend over to the right. There. Don King is having a conversation with the commissioners at this point. Now that shouldn't be a promoter talking to the commissioners. Let's put some grease on him. Tito. Don't, don't, don't get out of control. When you hurt him, don't lose control. Take it easy. Vargas took some heavy shots there, and he spent a lot of himself, I felt, in recovering. The question now is, how much does he have left going into these last three rounds? How good was the ninth round? They both landed 32 punches by CompuBox estimation. And 54 of the total 64 were power shots. Harold, how do you have it through nine? Okay, Jay. Uh, Jim. Five, three, one even, 84, 82, Tito Trinidad. Uh, Jim, I got to tell you, most referees will disqualify you after they take away three points. I don't think Danny will do it in this fight. But in any case, Tito Trinidad, in my eyes, red drops eight and nine in a toe-to-toe -to -toe action. I thought he had punched him. He won on a clean punch. Right, and that gave him a two-point lead. I think he's ahead two points with three rounds to go. Harold, both rounds were very close. I have it even. I gave the last round to Vargas. I think Harold has done a good job this time. It's hard to take your emotion out and score a fight like this. He's done a good job. Vargas is not staying on the right side of Trinidad. Trinidad's eyes are about swollen shit. You want to stay over there? He's got to protect it. Stay over there. Don't lean back to his left hook at all. Well, Fernando Vargas's left eye is beginning to swell dramatically, too, as the result of the right-hand punishment he took in the last round. So now it's Trinidad's right eye that's swelling. Vargas's left eye. And they stand and trade again. Trinidad with bigger power when they go face-to-face. -face. Trinidad has been in this position in the latter rounds before. He's a long way from home. He's got to go for the knockout. You think Trinidad has to go for the knockout? He has to go for the knockout. When you're this far away from home, you just can't take any chances that you're going to win this thing on points. Yeah, but just remember, George, he got that close controversial decision over uh, Oscar De La Hoya right here. When some people thought that De La Hoya couldn't conceivably lose a decision in Vegas. Oh, to the body goes Trinidad with left hooks. Right now, Trinidad appears to be the stronger of the two. And he's not backing up, throwing hard shots. One of the judges for this fight, Glenn Hamada, was also a judge for Trinidad De La Hoya, and he had that fight 114-114. You're looking at another extremely close fight tonight. And a one-point deduction for Vargas. And the Trinidad fans go wild. Remember, there have already been two-point deductions against Trinidad. I think that was a make-up call by Nady. That, that should not have been counted as a foul or a serious foul. I said earlier, I saw Don King leaning over, talking with the commissioners, doing a boxing match, a promoter. That's not a good, that's not a good thing to do. Do you want to guess that Don was saying Vargas is throwing low punches too? He probably was, and then you caution your referee, if you're a good commission, to be equal here. And that's not a bad for Don King, but it's bad to, uh, it doesn't look good. Flip Homansky ultimately grabbed King and tried to lead him away good, from good. Glenn Carano and Dr. Elias Ghanem when King was leaning over Carano and Ghanem to try to make his point. Mark Ratner, the executive director of the Nevada State Athletic Commission, was two seats away. Meanwhile, they're still busting each other face to face in the ring as round 10 comes to a close, and the crowd is on its feet again.
Okay. Deep in breath. Deep breath. Deep breath. He's dead. He's dead with the jab. You got him. He's got it. He's, he's, he's yours. He's got his mouth open and he's tired. Don't let, don't let him get away now. You gotta use your intelligence, Fernando. When and, and you gotta put the pressure, but you gotta put fast, quick. Don't stand right in front of him. Here's a look at the low blow call, Larry. Yeah, it was low. It was a little low on the border, but nothing that it just really grazed him. <laughs> Didn't look, I don't think it would have been called if he hadn't previously penalized Trinidad. Well, and Be also Vargas had some other low blows in the preceding round. Right. Be that as it may, it may be that right now, Vargas either has to win the last two rounds or score a knockdown or a knockout to win the fight. Yeah, I think Vargas is the one who needs the knockout because that was a big round for Trinidad numerically and he got the point deduction. So in all likelihood, Trinidad should be ahead on the scorecards now. That's my take. Vargas is doing a good job, but he's just got to stay out of the exchanges. If he just uses quickness, jab, hook, stay out of the way. Beat Felix to the punches, but don't get into the exchanges. He is not the most powerful. It's been evident tonight. Now, uh, Trinidad has definitely had the edge in power. Well, then how's he going to win the fight, George? Well, you just hit him, hit him, hit him, move out of the way. Hit him, hit him, hit him, move out of the way. And win the last two rounds and hope that's good enough? That's right. Win the round. But don't, you can do it. Hit him, but don't get him into the exchanges. He throws his left hook, you out of there. You see how he hits him with a jab, gets out of the way? Now get out of the way, and he should be doing now, which he did. This has been another showcase for the relentlessness of Felix Trinidad. Sure, he doesn't do a lot of different things in there, but the one thing he does, he does with passion, commitment, pride, and absolute determination all the time. Try to match my will. That's what Felix Trinidad says to his opponents, and he's been saying it to Vargas down the stretch of this fight. He knows how to go forward, and he, he uses it. He's aggressive. Some fellas... They only do it when they have to go forward. But this Trinidad is a go forward puncher. He takes your heart, George. He takes your heart. He hasn't taken Vargas' heart yet, but that would Vargas be hard to be do. Smart. Vargas has a ton of heart. Just remember, guys, this fight was almost over in the first minute. And here we are with a minute to go in the 11th round. That's all you need to know about Vargas' <laughs> heart. In case you missed the beginning, Vargas was down twice in the first minute and a half of the bout, but survived. Now the exchanges, Felix Trinidad is going to get the best of the exchanges. Vargas has got to stay away from trying to mix it up, mix it up. Do what you're going to do first and get out of the way. Now get out of the way, he should be doing now. Good left hook inside by Vargas. Vargas with a momentary flash of offense, but Trinidad freezes him with a hard right hand to the jaw. Straight punches by Trinidad right up the middle. They get there quick. There you go, Vargas. He's beating him to the punch, and he's rattling him. He's got his heart. He's got his power. Don't get into the exchanges. What a battle. And again, they're on their feet. You're going to give him a beating in this round. Deep breathe, deep breathing. Take a deep breath. We got to get that water. This is when you breathe. Let's put some Vaseline on him. We need a round. The last round. You, you're fine. We're conscious of what we're doing. Are you conscious? Yes. Give me some water. Fernando Vargas has bitten off more than he can chew, in the opinion of many, but he has chewed it. 
and he has to chew it again in this last round to pull it out. But Felix Trinidad has been outlanding Vargas down the stretch and with bigger firepower most of the time. Vargas Harold Letterman, how do you have it going to the final Okay, round. Jim, I absolutely agree with you on that power towards the end of the fight. Six, four, one even, 103, 100. Felix Tito Trinidad. Jim, there's no question out of the last four rounds, Tito Trinidad is released three. Down goes Vargas on a big left hook. And up he gets in a two seconds. And now it's abundantly clear. Fernando Vargas must score a knockout or he's lost this fight. Down goes Fernando again. He's seriously hurt. He doesn't have his wits about him. He is reacting simply from instinct and courage. He's out of it. He can't see Trinidad. He's about to get knocked out. Barring a miracle here, it's going to be a closing knockout for Tito. Fernando trying to survive. Fires a couple of punches. And holds on like a skilled veteran. He's a veteran. And that'll do it. The third right hand, the third knockdown of the round. A huge victory for Tito Trinidad. He closes the show like the champion he is. What a fight. What a fight. Give the people what they want. Did they get their money's worth tonight, George? He gave it to them. And also did Vargas. He also did his money. What a champion. What a performance by Trinidad. Start to finish. Braveheart. Braveheart all the way. Never thought that Trinidad could do what he did tonight. No way. He beat up a superior boxer. Left jab and power punches. Getting up off the canvas. Being in trouble. Recuperating. I didn't think he had it. He underlined his trademark, George. Two-fisted power. Relentless determination. I never thought he could do it. And he had to back up a few times. And he was still effective. Let's take a look at the three knockdowns in the 12th round with which Trinidad finished Vargas and finished the fight. Knockdown number one. Another brilliant left hook. Typical of so many that Trinidad had landed throughout the fight. Typical of the left hooks with which he began all this in creating two knockdowns back in round number one. A third look and another perfect left hand shot on the button by Felix Trinidad. And then seconds later, the second knockdown and the one that made it clear that Vargas would need a near miracle just to finish the fight. Another clean shot with the left hook for Trinidad. And then finally, the third knockdown, almost an anti-climax at that point, as a wobbly Vargas simply could not muster the skill and the will to stay afoot against Trinidad's assault. And a merciful Jay Nady not bothering to count, but rather stepping in to end the onslaught and spare the brilliant young talent any further punishment at the hands of the devastating Trinidad. 39th win of Felix Trinidad's career Let's go to Jimmy Lennon Jr. for the official details of the TKO. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time. One minute, 33 seconds in round number 12. He's the winner by way of knockout. He is still undefeated. And now the WBA and IBF 154-pound world champion, Felix Tito Trinidad.